Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Pounder. I'd like to give you an overview of my paper titled Design Evolution Enhances Patient Compliance for Low Intensity Pulse Ultrasound Device Usage. In this article, we investigated whether design changes to the Exogen Low Intensity Pulsed Ultrasound Device had an impact on patient compliance or adherence to their treatment. The LIPUS device is indicated for accelerating the fracture healing of certain fresh fractures and for the treatment of non-union bone fractures. The product is prescribed by a physician to be used 20 minutes per day until the fracture is healed. The ultrasound signal is delivered via a transducer coupled to the skin with ultrasound gel. The development of the next generation LIPUS device started with a collection of user insights. In this case, users were patients, the physicians who prescribed the product, and the insurance companies who cover the cost of the treatment. The development process consisted of three phases. Discovery, concept envisioning, and design refinement. Voice of the customer research was conducted with over 700 separate insights collected. One very clear desire was a better way to track and improve patient compliance. A range of concepts were developed and tested through patient and physician interviews. The concepts were kept deliberately simple so the participants would focus on the idea being presented rather than the aesthetics of the design. Ultimately, the final design included a compliance calendar that gives the patient direct feedback on their compliance each time they switch on and use the device. The motivation of this study was to understand whether the inclusion of the compliance calendar had an impact on patient behaviour. We collected over 10,000 patient usage files from the older generation device and over 2,000 files from the new generation product. The files document usage of the devices over a six month period. Analyzing the earlier generation device, compliance with the device started at about 90%, but gradually fell over the six month period, finishing at just over 50%. The average compliance was 74% over the six month period. The next generation device started at a similar level of compliance at 93%, and after three months, compliance had fallen to 84%. However, beyond three months, the compliance stabilised around 80%, never falling below 76% across the whole six months. Incorporation of the compliance calendar had a positive impact on reinforcing use, potentially due to more direct patient feedback. To review more of my findings and how this compares with the published literature, please review my paper, Design Evolution Enhances Patient Compliance for Low Intensity Pulsed Ultrasound Device Usage.